A casting weighing 9 kN hangs freely from a rope which makes 2.5 turns around a drum of 300 mm diameter revolving at 20 rpm. So to visualize this we'll just draw a diagram, right? So a weight is hanging, okay? A weight is hanging from a rope which makes 2.5 turns around a drum, right? So there is a drum, so we can consider it as a pulley also. Right, this rope makes 2.5 turns. That is one turn, two turn, and a half turn, right? So half turn will be coming here. 2.5 turns around a drum of 300 millimeter. Other end of the rope is pulled by a man. So there is a man pulling the other end, right? There's a man pulling the other end. This is a weight. And the diameter of this is 300 millimeter, right? Uh, and it is rotating at 20 RPM. Uh, what are the other data given? The other end of the rope is pulled by a man. Coefficient of friction is 0.25. So mu is also given. Two point sorry zero point two five. Now we have to find the force required by the man and the power to raise the casting, right? So force required by the man to hold this one without slipping or falling, and next one the power to raise the casting. So first one to hold this one at this position. The next question is to pull it to the top, right? First we'll go to find the force required by the man. According to given data, the casting weight is 9 kN, that is 9000 Newton. Okay. Diameter is given 0.3 meter, n is 20 rpm. So now we will put this as T2, the force required by the man, and T1 is the weight of the hanging, right? Theta is 2.5 turns of the drum. So we need to find 2.5 into 2 pi, you know. 2 pi is equal to 100, sorry, 360, okay? 2 pi is equal to 360. So, this is making two and a half turns. So, one turn is 360, another turn is 360, another half turn, right? That is 180. So, 2.5 into 360, which will give you 5 pi radians, right? So, total theta is 5 pi radian that is equal to 900 degree right 900 degree so pi pi radian now we will put it in the equation so our mu is given right mu is given uh, t1 and t2 also given not given we are actually found right so we'll put it in the equation 2.3 log t1 by t2 is equal to mu theta this is the equation Mu it's given 0 0.25. Theta you have already found 5 pi. Theta is already 5 pi. So this when you multiply, you will have 3.9275 radians. Okay. 3. Point, not radians, sorry, 3.9275. That's all. Right. So 2.3 into log of this value is equal to this one. So when you divide it by 2.3, you will have log t1 by t2 equal to 3.9275 upon 2.3 right that will give you 1.71 okay 1.71 when you take antilog you will have t1 by t2 is equal to 51 right antilog you take for both sides you will have T1 by T2 is equal to 51. The ratio now you have found. So if you find the ratio, you can directly put it in the equation. So T1 by T2, T2 is equal to T1 by 51, right? T2 is equal to T1 by 51 because T1 by T2 is 51. The value of T1, you know, 9,000. So when you substitute T1 here, you will have T2 is equal to 9000 by 51 that is equal to 176.47 newton right 
So this is the force required by man to hold this one without moving, right? Now we need to find the power to raise the casting. So here now we are going to exert some more force, then only it will move up, right? We know that the velocity of the rope V is equal to pi dn by 60, right? Velocity we know pi dn by 60. If it is power, then we need to think about the equation, right? Which is what is the equation of the power t1 minus t2 upon into v, right? t1 minus t2 into v. So we need to find t1, we need to find t2, we need to find the v, right? So t1 and t2, t1 it's given, t2 we have already found. Now we need to find the v. In order to find the v, what we have the equation pi dn by 60, right? So pi d it's given 300 millimeter, that is 0 0.3 meter. N that is 20 RPM by 60. When you solve this, you will have 0 0.3142 meter per second, right? 0 0.3142 meter per second. So now you found the V, already you found the T2 and T1 is given, right? So whatever the uh, components you need for the find the power, it's already given, right? So when you put it in the equation, P is equal to T1 minus T2 into V, right? That is 9,000 minus T276.47 into V, V is 0 0.3142. That is equal to 2,772 watt, right? 2,772 watts. So that will be equal to 2.772 kilowatts.